been said that music really reflects the times. Uh, sadly, we do not hear very much of contemporary music as part of the jazz repertoire. Uh, why do you think that is? Well, I mean, honestly, I think it's because people don't play other people's compositions. I mean, I think it's just point blank. That's what it is, because, you know, these were songs that were played and then everyone played them at a certain point. You know, uh, everyone put their own spin on these compositions, uh, whether we're talking about American Songbook, whether we're talking about compositions, you know, by Miles Davis, Herbie Hancock. I mean, for me, those are <laughs> those are uh, uh, composers of the great American songbook as well because they're great Americans and they've created this music that we love. They created uh, they created music that is the background of uh, American history. So um, nowadays everyone composes but no one wants to play anybody else's compositions. Why? I'm not really sure. But I love playing uh, uh <laughs> you know, composition. I love playing compositions by anybody. You know, uh, my thing is if it's good music, it's good music and it should be played, you know. Um, and, every, you know, now everyone is working on their own things, but um, which are beautiful. But I think it's time to come together and learn each other's compositions because it's something that uh, creates the music. You know, it creates a, a soundtrack to humanity. And uh, I think that because the time we're in where everything is so spread out and we're all this, we're so connected, but at the same time, we're so spread out and we're so individualistic. Um, I believe that if we start playing each other's tunes, then uh, we'll really be able to connect on a different level. Yeah, I think there's another factor here as well. And one of our viewers, Paul McKendrick over in the UK commented, the melodies were so strong. You don't get that movement anymore. And uh, I would say up until like 20 years ago, songs from Broadway shows and songs by pop artists uh, were shared by artists in, in other dimensions. But the popular music today, which is primarily hip hop music and, and what I call technology generated music, doesn't really have the, those strong melodies. I mean, can you, in your playing, Christian, can you think of anything written in the past 10 years that you play? Yeah. Uh, I tell, you know, one of my favorite records is uh, Rihanna's record, Anti. That came out, I believe, was it three years ago, maybe? Something like that. Um, what I love about it is the melody. You know, I love how it's very angular and it's very tricky. And the thing about it is that it's it's subtle you know there's a subtlety to it where you don't really realize what it's doing um you know you take uh someone like kendrick lamar with his rhythm his rhythmic sense and the things that he's doing and how he's doing it i mean you know we there's there's a lot that's happening i mean there there's a a, a plethora of of uh music that doesn't stimulate uh every aspect of your mind but then there's some that are you know so you really got to find which ones that do that i mean you know strong melodies uh have existed before and and it's not even about for me it's not even about strong melodies because uh not not only just about strong melody i mean like now we have strong rhythms now we have I mean, they they might be you know laying on one note, for example, but rhythmically, what's happening, you know? So there's there's different uh, for me. There's different things to pull from, not just a strong melody. There is the rhythm. There is the harmony aspect of it. Uh, there is the texture aspect of it. You know, uh, if so and so is is rapping or singing, then what's happening underneath? Is it just the music, or are they answering themselves, or are they, you know, are they passing the buck to somebody else? You know, like there's a there's an interaction there that is very uh, uh, creative, but not new because they're also borrowing it from the things that we've learned. You know, you take uh, a lot of hip hop from uh, the '90s. I mean, it was borrowed from jazz music you know you they're sampling Ahmad Jamal 
they're sampling Errol Garner. They're sampling, uh, you know, uh, Count Basie. And then uh, Ron Carter, you know, you talk about. So you you talk about um, the melodies, you know, the melody might, might not be sung by the lead, but the melodies are definitely embedded into the framework of the music. Yeah. 